Meet Todd Robbins, and what better place to find a glass eater than in a lighting store, which is where Todd is likely to be found in his free time. And what you're about to see will amaze and might even shock you. Well, it goes back many, many years. It's usually part of an act called the human garbage disposal, or the human ostrich. In addition to eating glass, the, the uh, performer will eat lit cigarettes and uh, razor blades, things like that. What you're about to see me do is not only real, but it's also very dangerous. There's a way of chewing up the glass or swallowing it so it doesn't cut the mouth and throat. And there's a diet and regimen that I go through each and every day that keeps it moving through my system. So I know what I'm doing. So please, please, don't anyone ever consider trying this on your own. Thank you. And now, for the bulb. Oh, it's good. It's a 60-watt bulb. I usually eat 100-watt bulbs when I'm on a diet. <laughs> oh, it's a GE bulb. You know what GE stands for? Good eating. Here it goes. I have to warn you, every once in a while when I do this, you might see a little blood trickle from the lips or the gums. Who would have thought eating glass would be dangerous? Well, it's very dangerous. There's no two ways about it. I mean, it's, it's broken glass. Any of those little pieces can split up the, uh, the insides and cause uh, internal bleeding. As a matter of fact, there have been people who know what they're doing and have ended up in the hospital with uh, hemorrhaging. I'm now going to swallow the glass. And people often ask, what's the proper beverage to serve? Not beer, not wine, no. Windex. There are some people that have seen me do it and they've given it a try. And it's, it's just the epitome of stupidity. There you go. Glass cleaner, bottoms up. Of all the possible beverages you could order to drink, this is one liquid refreshment we highly recommend no one partake in. There's nothing like a light snack.